the scientists come up with a location that they want to go to, maybe to take pictures of something interesting or um, go do some contact science and put the arm down. These are all kind of decisions that they make in the morning and then they tell the rover drivers, so my team, to then make that actually happen. Part of that is to design a drive from here to over there and make sure that we do it safely. Maybe we'll take two steps forward and then there's a rock here, so then we're gonna turn right around it and then we're gonna drive 100 meters in a certain direction to the target that we were supposed to get to. A successful drive means that we told it to go somewhere and we pretty much got there and it did exactly what we expected it to. In reality, every drive is a good drive. It means that we learned something, whether it's we learned something about the rover itself and you know maybe what its limits are as a robot. So the kind of limits that we face every day planning a drive is you know just like if you try to climb up the mountain, you can only do it so steep or you're gonna fall over and fall backwards. So we need to make sure when we plan a drive that the slopes are pretty flat. We need to make sure that we've got good traction and we're not gonna be slipping backwards. We need to make sure that we're always facing the sun because just like the solar panels on maybe your house, uh, you need to make sure that it faces the sun to get energy. And that's how we get energy to drive the rover. So we need to make sure that we're never facing away from the sun or we could actually kill the vehicle. Another constraint that we have is to make sure that we don't run the rover into a large obstacle. Just like when you're driving your car, you don't want to run into something too tall or you know, you'll hit the front of your car on it. For the rover, we want to make sure that we don't run into large boulders that are all over Mars that will actually smash into the front of it and damage a rover. And just like potholes on the road, we don't want to run into craters and also potentially damage the rover. So once the scientists tell us what to do, um, our job as rover planners is to come up with a list of commands to accomplish everything that the science team wants to do. Whether it's pointing the rover in a direction to take imaging or maybe driving to a new location. Um, we put all these commands together as a large team here at GPL and we then send those commands so that right when the rover wakes up on Mars, it reads its list of commands and executes it just like we tell it to do and at the end of its day before the sun goes down, it sends all that data back to Earth. And then we start the cycle over again.